Hello, folks. So I'm going to try an experiment here. Um, the moon is currently next to one of the objects I, I, I want to capture right now. So I'm going to go on hold for a little while. And I'm going to set up and to, to capture the Horsehead Nebula. And I'm hoping all of this works while I'm sleeping. You know, I'm going to set the start time. I never got that to work before, and we'll see how this goes. And it looks like the horse head will be in view for me around 3.30 a.m. I checked Stellarium, so I'm going to set this up. And uh, it, it's uh, I'll see what happens when I wake up in the morning. That if I, if I captured any data, great. If I didn't, oh well. Maybe next time. So let's see. I see 434. All right, so there's the horse head. I just pulled it up in the framing mosaic wizard. I love this thing. Let's just frame it like that. Um, I usually capture this every year. I love this target. And uh, it's, it's so bright. I bet it will come up um, really fine if I can even capture two or three hours on it tonight. Um, does that look like it's framed good? How about a little higher? Get all this extra stuff going on here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe like that. Wait, how about like that? All right. So I'll say create sequence. We'll call it horse head. All right, there's the horse head. I captured HA with the moon, still over 70%. Unity gain, select HA, HA, let's go four minutes. And we'll give this, um, uh, we'll say uh, how many, 3.30 to 7, that's about three and a half hours. Eh, we'll just go 105, and I'll just say. Now what I'm going to do is, um, I mean, I'm, there's no way. I, I'm probably only going to, I said 105, that's seven hours of data, but I really am only going to be able to capture about three. So let's see, start time, 3, oops, 3.30. Three zero. No, that ain't working right. I uh, just click the up arrow. Three thirty. All right, now I just say to end it at uh, seven o'clock, seven a.m. I think that's when it might start to get light outside. I know I lose my guide star at around twenty after seven. I'll just say it's 7. All right. So we'll start at 3.30, end at 7, and we'll see how this goes. And I'll be sleeping, and um, I'll wake up in the morning, and hopefully I captured something. And if I capture something, I'll stack it, and we'll see how it looks. So at this point, this is where I screwed up last time. I thought it would just start at the, the start time, but I think they have to actually hit resume and let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Hmm. It says remaining time seven hours. Is that it? Oh, okay. Waiting, and here it is. Waiting until 3.30 a.m. to start horse set. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. See you later. Okay, so it is the next night, but when I checked the surveillance this morning, um, 
I could tell uh, just by looking at the scope that it, it was pointing to the other side of the meridian. So not only did it start, it even did an automatic meridian flip. So that was pretty good. And uh, let's go in and take a look at what I captured. And uh, there's the image history. I right clicked on it to see the details of the image history. And I did capture 49 subs of the Horsehead and Flame Nebula. Now, I did make some changes from what you saw in the, the first part of the video. Um, instead of starting at 3.30, I, I changed my mind and had it start at 4 o'clock. I wanted to make sure this was successful, and I was worried the Horsehead might still be in the trees. And if it was, uh, the whole thing was going to fail. And the other change I made is um, I thought four, expo uh, four minute exposures might be too long. I was worried about that bright star between the, the horse head and the flame that I didn't want to blow it out. So those were the only two changes I made. But every sub I captured was um, while I was sleeping. I was sound asleep. So it's really cool when your telescope is working for you while you're asleep. And... Um, I'm looking at the data, and it looks pretty consistent. Um, if, if, uh, let's just point at the first one. And uh, it looks like I'm definitely out of the trees, and there's the flame, there's the horse. And this thing is bright um, for a change other <laughs> compared to the stuff I've been working on. That's cool, but I did see some stuff going on here. Um, the data looks consistent up until I get, uh, yeah, right about there. <laughs> My star count fell from 285 to 96. Yeah, look at that sub. Boom! That's what it looks like when I get hit by a plane. Bah, humbug. And I thought I saw another low one. There's another one where the star count fell dramatically, and that looks like another plane again. Uh, that one just clipped me in the corner. Yeah. Huh. So, um, oh, yeah, and I, I saw this earlier. Um, I can tell my stars aren't perfectly round. Even in the center, I can, they're a little bit elongated. Well, maybe not that one. Let me go back. Let's see if the first one is any worse. The higher it goes, um, the better I'm off, but Definitely, the, this wide field setup, I'm badly affected when the scope is pointing low. So I probably have um, some image tilt in my imaging train where the, the imaging train is bending a little bit. Even though, um, e even though I'm all threaded, but I, I just see my stars looking bad when I'm, when I'm pointing too low. So I, I, I contribute that to uh, image tilt. And... I've got another thing going on with the setup in the corners. I, I'm seeing a lot of field curvature. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. I've seen this on most of my pictures for the wide field setup. So you can see here the um, their stars are oops, they're pointing this way. Or if I go here to the to the left here, I can see they're pointing that way. Um, and my imaging train is about, I think, one millimeter off of the 55 millimeters that I should be between the reducer and uh, the camera sensor. Is that one millimeter causing field curvature? But I have it anyway. I'm not sure. It's, but it's, it's tempted me to go back to my flattener instead of the reducer. So um, anyway, that, that's, that's what the horse head looks like. It, it worked, it was automated, every sub was captured while I was sleeping, and um, I don't know, I might play around with this data, but I have a feeling this is probably going to be something that I just keep adding on to as more nights, uh, more clear nights show up. So anyway, I've got at three minutes uh, per sub, I don't know what that comes to, 49, it's definitely over two hours of data so far. Yeah, alright. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you later.